I am all done. And now I just have to package these up. So our dad will always be our king. And there's the back says, keep fighting with the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. That's on the back. And the next stack underneath this says, uh, let's see, where are we at? Our papa. So these were the kids' shirts. These are the grandbabies' shirts. I think it was more grandkids' shirts than kids' shirts. And then... There's only one. Hold on. Okay, there's only one that says my husband. Same thing. My husband will always be my king. Instead of R. I had to change the wording on that, right? And then there's a friend. A friend of the family who gets that one. So that's what I was working on this week. I want to package these up and get them delivered. And then I am going to show you guys my shirt that I'm going to do in the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Okay, guys. Happy Saturday. So I am getting ready to deliver those shirts. I got them all packaged up. And I am so glad to be done with that order because I am done now for 2019 with t-shirt orders. So I'm going to just take a break and hit the reset button for um, 2020. So I said in my video yesterday, if you guys saw my graduation video, um, that I had to tell you guys something. I'm gonna tell you in a second. The giveaway for the lipstick is still going on and I'm gonna include the t-shirt giveaway with it. Still gonna be two separate videos. I'm gonna do two drawings. Um, first drawing I'm gonna be doing for the, the lipstick and the second drawing I'm gonna be doing for the t-shirt. So it's still gonna go through the weekend. I wanna do that video live with Shannon cause she just bought this ball like a bingo ball and you turn it in the ball. So we gonna try to figure out how to do that. Just spin it and then if your name falls out, then you win and I wanna do that live. So if you didn't see my video about the lipstick giveaway, go back and watch that. I think it was just a couple days ago. And then this is the t-shirt video. But I wanna tell you guys something before I talk about the t-shirt. So quick, little transparent moment that really was a um a eye opener for me so i knew this year i hadn't been working out at all you guys i was mentally exhausted mentally exhausted mentally exhausted um was dealing with depression anxiety all of that in 2019 um and i'm kind of just stressed out period because i'm you know my whole life is just in transition and i'm still unsure right still in a kind of unsure uh scenario or situation but anyway so i knew that i was unhealthy in terms of you know my eating habits you know, for those of you who have been with me for a while you know i used to ride my bike i used to just be on these uh weight loss journeys and i was on the keto diet the intermittent fasting so i was a guru you know, I knew how to lose weight. I knew how to be healthy. Felt so good. Had so much energy. But again, this year, I just didn't do anything. So, I wasn't feeling good. Um, one of my coworkers was out sick for three days. And then I started getting sick. And they were just kind of teasing me because I was at work sneezing. And they was like, so-and-so got you sick. I'm like, well, you know. But I never missed work. I think I might have missed one day two weeks ago. And I even said to you guys, my body just feels like it's fighting a cold, right? So anyway, at work, today is Saturday. So this was Thursday. I was at work, had my glasses on because I'm at my computer and out the peripheral, out my peripheral. So let's say I had a ceiling fan on in this room. Out my peripheral, I could see those blades, right? The shadow of it. And that's what I saw out my peripheral. We don't have ceiling fans at my job, so I kept looking up like, the heck is going on? Then I started seeing streamers, like birthday party streamers or something, out my peripheral. So, y'all took my glasses off. I wiped my eyes, and I just was like, oh, my God, what is going on? My coworker sitting next to me, she said, Sonetta, are you okay? 
And I was like, girl, I just saw, I'm seeing stuff in the prick of my eyes, uh, streamers and ceilings. And, and then she started laughing. And I said, no, I'm so serious right now. So then she got worried. She's like, oh, my God, what's going on? I said, I'm going to go walk down the hall, catch my breath, because I started panicking. And then I said, if I don't come back in like five minutes, come and get me. So somebody did come out in the hall, and it was like, you okay? You okay? And I was like, I do feel better. I'm not seeing that out my eye vision no more. Um, but that was so weird. So I got back to my desk, and then I went and talked to one of the nurses. And I said, um, I told her what happened. She's like, let me take your blood pressure. My blood pressure was extremely high. To the point where they were like, call the ambulance. I was like, no, don't call. And I just started panicking. I was so scared. So one of the nurses took me to emergency. And I stayed there for like three hours just monitoring me. Um, and there's real, <clears throat> there's really no explanation as to why the blood pressure went up. They went through a bunch of tests. So I wasn't outwardly experiencing a stroke which is what I was afraid of, but there's no real connection to, because I was, you know, congested, super congested, um, and sinus pressure, you know, in my nose, my eye, and in my ear, and it just was really, really bad, but that won't necessarily drive your blood pressure up, so there's really no connection, but it could be. Got on the scale, and I am I knew I gained a lot of weight just this year alone. So overweight. So that could be a problem. So I just have to, and I told you guys all of that because that's my focus for 2020 is just get back healthy, get back to, you know, and I'm ready. You know, for some reason, I just mentally wasn't ready. That was a wake up call. I'm ready now. I right? ain't Lord. I'm ready now. Exercising again, eating right and not, to the point where I'm just strict with it. No, I'm still going to go out and have, you know, some fun foods when we go out. But I'm talking about my daily at home salads and back to my protein shakes and just getting back on it. Um, and definitely exercising so that I can shake down these pounds. Oh, and while I was at the hospital, they released me. They didn't keep me. They released me because my blood pressure went back down to normal on its own. Um, so I just kept thinking, what was that? Like, what, why did that happen? What did I, you know, none of that. Just Sonetta, get back to where you was. 2019, you was down enough, baby girl. It's time to, let's go. That's, that's how, that's the conversation I had to have with myself. Let's get back to it. Cause I, I was like the type of person who would have so much energy i would motivate the people around me like girl where's you getting all this energy from because i would just be on it so no longer am i letting the 2020 2019 is expired it's expired you don't get no more time to harass me mentally um so i have 2020 vision and you know how they say when you go through something in hindsight your vision is 2020 like you can see clear after something has taken place I'm going into 2020 eyes wide open, um, seeing things differently in all areas of my life. You know how we have goals? I used to be the guru, of, and I have so many of these books. I pulled these down off the shelf. I have so many of these planner books because I used to be the queen of writing your goals down, writing down your action steps. I used to use stickers to make it fun, to keep me motivated. And I was doing that when my whole world turned upside down. So the lesson that I learned from that, it don't matter what goals you have, and it's good to have them and, and take action steps toward them, but be mindful that God can step in and life can happen and turn or turn your, your world upside down. But it's not necessarily to get discouraged. Sometimes it's just to redirect you. This is like a vision board. I moved from having a vision board to like having a vision book so I can carry this around with me and see my goals and, you know, write different things. I don't do that anymore. I'm going to get back to just writing my, my to-do list, like planning my week ahead of time. But I said all of that to say um, it's okay to have goals. And like for me, I have goals. You know, we have external goals like 
We want to, you know, we want to buy a house. We want a new house. We want a new car. We want a new job. We want, you know, to find love. We want this and that. All these goals that are external. And my goals for me is to, are ex internal. Because I felt like I kind of lost myself. But I really didn't lose myself. I just changed. So I had to play catch up like, okay, because my philosophies and my thoughts and the things that I used to believe in, I don't anymore. The things I used to enjoy to do, I don't anymore, you know? So it's just, you know how they say, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then all these things, and it's righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So I'm not worried about those things. My thing is just to seek God first, and God dwells within me. So my relationship with myself is very important, um, my morals and my standards, all of that has remained the same. Like, I like who I am as a person, but there were some things that were bothering me, the way people were treating me. And I'm not talking about my ex-husband. That's over with. I'm talking about just this year alone. Um, it was just shaking me up. I was I was a little too emotionally um, weak. Um, strong at the same time. Like, you ain't finna play me like, you know, I... I got that real good, but I'm talking about things was bothering me that I felt like shouldn't be bothering me. I felt like I needed to explain myself to certain people. And it's like, no, no. Trump tight with my relationship with God. My vision for 2020 is clear. I'm ready to go. I have positive people in my life, even if it's just a few. Okay. Um, Shannon, shout out to Shannon amazing person amazing person we have great conversations about life and about wanting to be better and about our goals and just about because it all starts with being a, a good person if you're a crappy person and you out there trying to get you know all these goals go on somewhere i don't care if you live in a three million dollar house i'm not coming to your pool party because you suck you know what i mean like that like what good does it do to have all these external things when that inside is not what's up so anyway, you guys, I got to get out of here. The person who wins the shirt, and we're just going to do a live drawing on the lipstick giveaway and the t-shirt giveaway. It runs throughout the weekend and maybe Monday um, when I'm at the restaurant. Because I want Shannon to be with me when I do the live drawing because she got that bingo thing and we're going we gonna to spin the wheel. Um, so either Monday or maybe next Wednesday. I don't know. But So if you didn't um, enter the giveaway for the lipstick because I said it ended Friday, you can still do it. This t-shirt can be custom. So this is the t-shirt. If you want a tagline underneath it that says, because I was going to put a tagline for myself that says, I can see clear now, or if you want to say new year, new me, I don't know, whatever your tagline, if you want your name on the back, whatever. The winner, I'm going to reach out to you. It could be a different color. It could be black with red letters or whatever. 2020 vision. We we got it. And not in hindsight, going into 2020, eyes wide open, what area of your life do you need to make positive change for good? Like, if you're still dealing with the same people that you've been complaining about for years and years and years, stop. You still like that job that you hate, but you've been there forever and ever, but every day you just hate to go and you just stop. If you're still overweight and you just complaining and complaining and hating on people who ain't overweight, just stop. Do something about it. Starting today. Don't wait till 2020. Starting today so that's my little spiel you guys i hope that makes sense leave a comment below oh, did i tell you how to enter the how to enter it leave leave a comment below what is it that you're working on i want to know what your internal goals are and you don't have to be as um transparent as i was keep it as private as you know lose weight um work on my insecurities or whatever that's what that's what i want to know if you got goals to you know, get a new job, a house. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about internally. Because right now, I'm start, I was developing this attitude that people suck. They really do. But we're not focusing on those people. We're focusing on people who, and we're going to be one of those people who, we're not perfect. We got, there's room for improvement. And what are we doing to improve? All right, guys. I'll see y'all in my next one.